ready? You ready? Wow. You ready? What's up, Optic Strength? Today we're gonna be doing 100 pull-ups as fast as possible. We're gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. If you can't do it, if you need assistance, coach has got your back. Let's jump into it. All right, the pull-up, overhand grip, making sure that we come to complete extension every single time, full lockout, and that whenever we pull up, our chin goes over the bar. So doing a full rep, that's kind of our guidelines for this. Uh, a couple cues that can help you out to make sure that you're really working the proper muscles is if Mike goes up, jumps up there with his broken, busted hand, he's gonna really keep his core tight and work on not interior tilting. He's gonna keep his feet out in front of him just a little bit, core engaged. He's gonna drive his elbows and shoulders away from his body and really turn his scapula as he drives up. Go ahead, Mike. Chin over the bar, come down, full extension, full lockout, press up again. Good, down, one more. Make sure he doesn't swing, good, down. Go ahead and rest. So if you do this, if you make sure you're not swinging, you're gonna save energy and you're gonna be probably a little bit quicker with your time. Give it a shot. If you struggle with pull-ups or you know you're not gonna be able to get 100, but you still wanna try, you know, really work on your own pull-up yourself, that's what this is all about. You can use a band for assistance if you have these available. Most gyms will have this. If you don't have it and you're doing this at home or out in the park or wherever you may be, you can purchase one of these for five to 10 bucks depending on how thick you need it. So Mike's gonna use a red one here, just a quick demo. The best way to do this is to pull it down and put it through your foot. So he's gonna pull down, step on it, fully lock out his legs. Now he's gonna keep his legs together and go over exactly what we just told you how to do a pull up. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a spring on the bottom and a little bit of assistance to help you. Go and pull up, good. Back down, one more. Way easier. Good, back down, good. So then he's come up, he just grabs the band, steps out of it. As you can see, we have different thickness bands. We have red, we have blue, we have green, we have black. Get something that's appropriate for you. If you wanna get one of each, that's a great way to build your pull up is to start with a heavy one that you can get for multiple reps. And then after a period of time, start backing that down to make it a little bit harder uh, using the bands until you're doing actually a full rep yourself. One other way, if you definitely train with a partner or you have a, you know, anybody at the gym that you want to work out with, you can even grab Joe Schmo from over there. Say, hey, can you give me a shot? Give me, a, give me a spot. Give me a spot real quick. Uh, so same thing. Mike's going to do exactly the same thing. The hard part about this is the legs. So I like the spot from the hips. So as he pulls up, just give him an assistance when he goes down or he goes up. Other way you can do it is if he kicks his feet back towards me, you can really help him here and pull. And finally, for those of you guys who really can't do a pull up, a great way to start learning them is using a TRX. You'll find these in most gyms in different styles. So what you're gonna do is make sure you let you come on right underneath the bar or the attachment point. Really, really think about sitting down on your feet. Get your feet really close to your butt. Now you're gonna be using your feet a little bit of assistance. So the biggest thing is don't lean back. Lean forward a little bit as you pull. Pull those elbows down. Use your feet to help you get full extension. Slowly lower back down. Pull, really concentrating on driving your elbows down. Pull, back down. Coachman has some bad elbows. I got one bad palm, but we're gonna we're gonna fight through this. Great weighing 150 pounds. Lock it up. Ah! Okay. 15 banger. 15. Coach's gotta live with all that extra weight. You call me for that? Nah, just big bone. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
See, this is where coach might think he might get ahead of me. I know he's got the psychological game over there. Patiently taking rests. like a hundred pounds, tree climber. Doubles. Big his is. Whoa, that's a big one. Uh, <laughs> we got nasty hands. Hey, that means you're working though. Yep, yeah, facts. Remember that. It's now up to me to finish it all. I got 60 more to go. Coach is gonna do coach things. It's like CT Fletcher always says, it's still your mofo. We got the nice little lady over there. We can't be cursing in here. You're set. Three to go. Stop joking around. Let's get these, these 13 in real quick.
more to go. Last 20. Should I go for the crazy 20 burnout? The attempt? He's 15. I started with 15. Can I do 15 again? out three real quick. I had 10 left to do. <laughs> 10 more. We almost there. Hopefully this picks up pretty good, but I had coach go in the first lap for eight, about nine minutes in anticipation of his uh, partner over there for him to train. I jumped in right after, so we were at a total of 42 minutes, almost 43, currently at 90, got 10 more to go. May even do 10 extra just for coach himself over there. We'll see how I feel after these next 10. We have a client, so I had to work, so I had to bow out at 50. So Mike obviously finished his hundreds, he's a little tired, but let us know how you guys did. Uh, but most importantly, <laughs> lift big. Train smart. <laughs>